Yo, what is up guys? Joker bringing you another video for Diablo 4. Earlier today we had a blizzard campfire where essentially a bunch of the devs sat around and talked about future changes, upcoming things for Diablo 4, and I figured I would go ahead and give like a TLDR of the main points that I pulled out of it, the main things that felt important. Most importantly, there was some rather large news that I'm looking forward to in there. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Starting with one of the most important things to me is when does season one start? It has been confirmed that season one does start in mid to late July. Interestingly enough, that's the same time that Exile Con is going to be going on. So we're going to be having the Diablo 4 season one launch alongside the 3.22 and PoE 2 announcement trailers and stuff like that. So it looks like early mid July is going to be really hype for like ARPGs and ARPG news. Up next, we have something with hot fixes and patches, stuff like that. They addressed why they're doing mainly small patches and hot fixes as opposed to big ones. They were saying that mainly they that since the uh, servers were only on for about a week, they wanted to go ahead and keep these servers up as much as possible. So with the patches and stuff they were doing, they were doing the hot patches. That way they didn't have to take the server down. They did address that coming here in the new future, there's going to be a chunky patch that is going to be bringing the servers down and it's going to be a cold patch, but it's going to be rather large. They said it's going to be like 13 pages worth of patch notes. So fingers crossed and in, in anticipation for that. Hopefully it's not overwhelmingly negatively received. Moving on, we have something that's a huge buff in my opinion, and that's going to be Nightmare Dungeons. Since Nightmare Dungeons is the core of the gameplay that they do what I want us to do, they are rolling out two main buffs. They're going to make it so when you click a Nightmare Dungeon sigil, it teleports you to that dungeon, and they're going to boost the EXP rates in Nightmare Dungeons so that it beats out grinding that same dungeon over and over again. This isn't it, I hope at least. Uh, Nightmare Dungeon still needs something else, but this is a very good start. These are two of the concerns I had about Nightmare Dungeons, being the traversal and then the EXP, where it just wasn't worth doing because you weren't getting EXP, you weren't getting enough loot, right? So now it's going to be easy to spam Nightmare Dungeons, and they're going to be the best experience in the game. So that's a huge W there. Additionally, we did get a rather interesting statement from Joe Shelley where he essentially said it's time for buffs that he was going to make a shirt about it and have this whole like meme joke thing going on. But they did go further in it saying that essentially it is time for buffs. They feel like with the nurse that they've passed out that it is a good floor for us to go ahead and just get buffs now one of their main concerns is they don't want a sixty-five thousand percent whirlwind barbarian so that's why they're kind of tiptoeing around actually buffing stuff because they want to see how everything interacts before they try to just flat buff everything because if they flat buff everything that's how you get that sixty-five thousand percent whirlwind barbarian one of the more interesting pieces of news that has come out of this is the fact that out of everybody that has bought diablo 4 the vast majority of players are still in the axe and that's another reason why they are hesitant to make a large amount of changes which makes sense since diablo 4 is geared towards more of that casual player it makes sense that a large amount of the players are still in that early game and right now they're trying to hit a solid middle ground with the players that the hardcore players the players playing 10 12 hours a day trying to get us content and updates as as well as making sure that it doesn't mess up the experience for the vast majority of the player base that's still stuck in that campaign and that makes perfect sense to me that that sounds like it can be a rather hard balancing act if there is a louder smaller minority of people saying hey we need this hey we need this and that's the end game players that are playing 10 12 hours a day but then when they look at it they see the vast majority of their players are actually still in that campaign they can't just completely change things because 
a large amount of the players are still learning how these things work. Up next is something, one of the more important things that players have been wondering about. How is Renown going to be working going into these future seasons? And they have kind of met us middle ground. So it is going to be removing the Fog of War from the map and Lilith Altars. Those are going to be the two things that carry over for Renown. So we no longer have to rediscover the map and we no longer have to gather additional altars of Lilith, we are still going to have to farm some renown because as you can see, areas discovered and altars of Lilith, it's not going to be enough to get you the 2000 renown you need, but it is going to be a decent chunk just because of the fact that with the areas discovered, it's going to be easy to hit the waypoints and the strongholds, which are majority of the other points that I got for my 2k renown. So they did make renown gathering significantly easier as well as they they did take away the inconvenience of on a new character having to rediscover the whole map over and over again. Up next, we have another one that's been a rather large quality of life update that a lot of players have been saying that we do need, and I completely agree, it's going to be a gym bag. However, they have addressed that they are working on a really good solution, actually, where they move the gym bag over to the resources. So your gyms would just go over to your resources, and then in the vendor, we would be able to craft the higher level gyms and socket them into gear. This seems like it is an update that's going to be later on more towards season two just because a lot of the other updates the bigger updates that they need to focus on it is put on more of a back burner but they are aware of it they are proactively working on it and if it can be done before that season two time frame then it probably will be but i completely understand and agree that some of these other changes that they said that they're doing take priority over a gym bag they did address how resistances feel a little lackluster and a lot of players just are choosing not to get them because a lot of times they feel like since damage checks against their armor value as well, resistances are kind of a dead stat. They have addressed that they are making resistance changes and it sounds like resistance buffs are incoming. So it's going to actually be worth it to get resistance on your gear going forward. I don't know how it exactly they're going to buff it but they did say that essentially they're going to buff it they're going to make resistances more important because they do want those to be something that players do care about as of instead of it just being a side thought they want you to try to get resistances on pieces of gear instead of just looking at it, at it as dead stats Crafting materials, having a limit is something else that I personally haven't experienced yet because I waste too many materials, but a lot of players have been hitting the material caps and that's something that they addressed as well is that there's they can't see a reason why there is a cap, so they are planning on increasing that here relatively soon because there's really no reason for there to be a cap. Something that I was actually really excited about is the fact that they did announce that seasons are always going to be bringing new content. Seasons aren't just going to be balanced patches and stuff like that like they were in D3 where there wasn't a whole lot of actual new content. Sometimes the season wasn't really even that much and it was mainly just around balancing the gear sets and stuff like that. They said that seasons are always going to be bringing Bringing new content which makes me super happy because that makes me feel like these seasons are going to be a lot like poe seasons where you only not you not only get a bunch of new content you get a bunch of uh, updates and quality of life things and balance changes as well so that's going to be really cool looking to that going forward rounding out the video with the last thing that i want to touch on is feedback since blizzard has been so receptive to the feedback they've read all 
all the posts, they've watched the videos, they they seem like they know what's going on with the community. And we need to keep giving constructive feedback because a lot of the changes that we are saying need to be done are actually being done. Even if it's not instantaneously, they are on the roadmap. They agree with us on a lot of the things. Now, with that being said, it does have to be constructive criticism. It can't really be this system sucks. Like that's not helpful to them or us. It they want to see more of a constructive feedback. Like this is why this system is inconvenient to us as a player base. They want to see they want to see that type thing. That way they can go ahead and take a look and be like, you know what? They said this, and look, we have the numbers right here. They're completely right. We need to fix that. Compared to just bitching, we would need to actually give them to the constructive criticism to make Diablo Four work. If if we want the game to be good we can't just keep bashing on it we need to give suggestions and feedback and examples of why certain things need to change as opposed to just it's bad that like just saying it's bad is not going to help anybody and that's it that's everything that i found important out of the campfire news update that they brought to us earlier today so going forward it looks like there is a lot of good good quality of life coming there's a lot of cool stuff coming i can't wait for season one so don't forget to like comment and subscribe to stay up to date with this and future content i'm going to be obviously making videos up until season one and yeah that's it until next time Take care.